If you are considering creating a membership site to sell your products or services, then this video is for you. Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with Member Mouse. Now, Member Mouse helps me run one of my memberships, Video Marketing Insider, and I set up that membership several years ago. Now, shortly, I'll show you inside of the membership area, but when you decide which membership plugin or script to use, you've got to ask a lot of questions. I see a lot of people go onto social media and say, what's the best membership plugin? What's the best membership script? And everybody gives different ideas and different recommendations, and it's always based on the one that they're promoting at the time as an affiliate. There's no answer to that question because it really depends on what you want to achieve. Do you want to offer upsells, downsells? Do you want to drip feed content? Do you want to have different levels? What kind of integrations are you looking for? What is your budget? What's your technical expertise? And you need to understand all of these things and then filter down to the best choice which ticks all your boxes. So for me, when I was creating my video marketing insider site, Member Mouse won that contest for me. Now, I also use Wishlist Member on another site, and that is a fantastic membership plugin as well. So I highly recommend that. I'll leave a link to that video below. But this is the homepage for Member Mouse. And you can get a two-week trial, which is really, really good. And it's called the Enterprise Level Membership Plugin for WordPress. It has a lot of moving parts and a lot of things, which is both good and bad. Now, I'm not very technical, so I actually needed some help in setting and integrating all of this stuff up. You may not need help if you're quite adapt to using WordPress and you're you know, pretty good with the technical stuff. But if you're not, you may need to employ somebody to help you with the setup process as I did. So that could be construed as a negative. But because it's so robust and it's got a lot of stuff going on, that may be a necessity for you. Now, if we scroll down, it shows what you can do. You can sell your products, obviously. You can protect it. You can manage members. It's got lots of really good reporting, which some other things don't have, and I'll share that in a second. This really, really helps me see how well or how poorly my members are doing. And if you care about your members' performance and you actually want them to consume content, this is really, really useful. We've got a bunch of like testimonials here. It's been around for a long time, since 2009. Um, it's got over 17,000 uh, customers, of which I'm one, and it's processed over $24 million of sales. So it's been around for a long time, and one of the best things with Member Mouse is their support. They don't always get back to you immediately, but they will get back to you within a 24-hour period, and they'll continue to communicate with you until your problems are solved. I've had a couple of issues and it's not been Member Mouse's fault, it's just been I've got a lot of moving parts with WordPress and payment processes and email systems and hostings. And when things update, sometimes things don't always play nicely together. Member Mouse went into my system and told me what to say to my hosting company and we got it fixed. They were really, really good. Their support is top notch. So let's look at their integrations. One of the most important things before you decide is, does it integrate with the stuff that you have or the stuff that you want to use? So how are you going to accept payments? Now, it's actually not got all of them here because it says here Stripe and PayPal, which is what most people use. ClickBank, if you want to get affiliates as well. They do have their own inbuilt affiliate program as well. They've got Coinbase, um, which is pretty cool. I actually sell my stuff on Pay Kickstart, which is not here, but Pay Kickstart does integrate with Member Mouse. So if you use Pay Kickstart, you can do that. Thrivecart, I believe, integrates as well. So not all of their integrations are here, but these are the main ones. Email as well. I use Aweber. So you want to make sure that you can communicate with people if they purchase your stuff. I also use SendGrid when it comes to transactional emails and making sure that people get their login. So that all kind of happens behind the scenes. So you can, they've got a bunch of other things. You can use Zapier if they've not got the exact thing that you want. But personally, I'd rather steer clear of using Zapier. There's nothing wrong with them. They're really good. But I'd rather have a direct integration. So the less moving parts, the better. I think I've shared this page. These are some other, I haven't actually, these are some other features. Now it says easy installation, which is true because it's a plugin but you want to make sure that you know you know what you're doing because when you first install it it's not an issue but when there are updates which come periodically you want to make sure that your sites are all backed up and everything's safe and secure but they provide a ton of stuff here these are lots of things you can do you know you can got the affiliate program members only pricing one-time trials payment plans recurring one-click upsells coupon codes and 
again, I use Pay Kickstart to sell, so a lot of this stuff actually for me happens within Pay Kickstart. But if you want to sell directly on site without having to deal with a third party processor, then you can do with Member Mouse, which is really, really cool. And tons of protection stuff and how to manage members. And when it comes to the price, which of course is important, it's, uh, we'll close this off. I mean, it does say $29 per month. Personally, I pay, I've got this one. So I pay $79 per month and more than enough for me. I don't need this one myself. You might do. But for me, $79 a month is more than enough for me to manage all of my members. I've put over 500 people through Video Marketing Insider so far. So how do people become a member and how does it work? So basically for me, people come to my sales page, which this is one of them. Um, they click on this, it'll bring them down here, and they would choose either a monthly or an annual plan. It's entirely up to them. For me, there's no different apart from the pricing, basically. So it's a bit of a discount for annual, but not everybody wants to spend 500 bucks, but let's pretend they do. They click on this and it takes them to a checkout page, which for me is made with Pay Kickstart. Got a testimonial from my buddy Philip there. Then we've got some pretty cool stuff down here. I've got um, people putting their contact information, they choose PayPal or they choose credit card, put in their details, add a keyboard if they've got one, check the box and hit complete purchase. That will take them to a thank you page which I built on Elementor which is part of Video Marketing Insider and then behind the scenes, Member Mouse creates their login credentials and it speaks with SendGrid and SendGrid will send out the email with the login URL, their username and their password. I will also have it integrated with Aweber so that I also get that person onto my email list so that I can start the onboarding process. But all of the important stuff as far as the member is concerned is handled behind the scenes. And then they got, that's basically it. Now, when these people get their credentials, they can log in. So let me just go ahead and pause the video and I'll log in as a member. Two secs. Okay, so a member would log in. And when they log in, they get taken to a dashboard. Now, this isn't actually Member Mouse. This is my theme. This is called Member Only, which is a paid theme. And they can go ahead and they can navigate through the content. And if they want to click on this, they can. They can edit their profile. They can cancel. They can upgrade. They can do all sorts of things. And then they kind of go through the content here. Let's click on that to get rid of that. And I have some stuff which is only available for lifetime members. So if I was to click on this, this particular account, has lifetime access so they'll be able to see this but if somebody got a monthly or an annual plan then there would be a page which says they don't have the rights to access this that would be created by member mouse and then they would either decide to leave that page or upgrade so this is a way for you to only show content to people that have the right kind of levels so that's that stuff so again I'm going to pause the video once more and I'm going to log in as an admin and I'll show you inside so you can have a look at member mouse at so two secs so this is inside the dashboard you will see member mouse on the left hand side with the drop down when you install it but you've got all this information now I've got to blur some stuff out because it's personal information such as names and email addresses but you can see the membership level that the person has when they registered and to me, this is really important. This is their engagement. And you'll find whenever you've got a membership site, some people will consistently log in and go through materials. Other people will log in a couple of times not long after purchase because they're excited, go through way too much stuff to possibly be able to use it and then kind of drop off. And other people may, may log in once or not at all. So an onboarding process is kind of important. But what you can do is you can click on the little pen icon and you can get more information. So if I go over here, I've already actually opened it up for this guy. Uh, and again, I'm going to blur the IP address out. But this person on January the 26th logged in and watched this particular lesson. Now on January the 21st they logged in and they went through a few things here then there was a little bit of a lull November the 4th they've gone through a ton of different stuff so again could this person log in more yes could they have gone through different sections in the right order yes but when you've got any kind of membership site all you can really do as a vendor or creator is give people as much help and advice as possible but you can't force them to go through the lessons in the right order but this is really important because I want people to consume the content. And when you see people that have bought your membership and they've not logged in once, they've never communicated with you, it does. it is frustrating. But again, there's only so much you can do. You can lead the horse to water, but you can't make it drink, as they say. If we open up this one, again, blurring some stuff off, but you can create your different bundles in here. So you've got membership levels that people have. So you may have levels 
depending on you know the payment plan that they've bought or the, what they've the actual type of product that they've bought. It's entirely up to you. I don't do the drip content. I know when I buy a product, I want to have access to everything at once. But for some people, they drip feed stuff. I understand the methodology behind it, but again, that's just me. Now, one thing that you may do that I don't is you may may make use of Member Mouse's features more than I do. Because I sell stuff on a third-party platform, I don't need to worry so much about a lot of these things. Pay Kickstart handles the affiliate stuff. Pay Kickstart handles the payments. Uh, again, email is handled by third-party stuff, so I don't actually need to set a lot of this stuff up. I don't need to make a checkout inside of Member Mouse. But if you want to do everything and not have any kind of third-party payment processes such as Pay Kickstart or Thrivecart or management systems, then you can you, you can do so inside of Member Mouse. It's really got everything that you want. But a lot of this stuff, there is a little bit of tech involved. There's a lot of short codes, and you really do want to make sure if you don't know what you're doing, pay somebody else that does. It's worth it. Again, like I've said before, I paid... I've paid one person to set this up and now I pay another person not just to manage this stuff because they manage other stuff but they help me out if there are any technical issues so it's definitely worth considering. Let's go over here. This is where you can add admins or they call them employees but they're basically people that can manage your site. You can see here that I'm the main admin but I've got a few others down here and this is also where I added the support guy from Member Mouse so if he ever wants to kind of come back in he can come back in as an admin and just troubleshoot stuff and see if there are any problems. So there's tons of tons of things in here again I can't really go through it all because there's so much that's involved and I don't use a whole lot of it but it really is useful. Now, again, if we go over to the payment section as well, just to show you, these are the payment methods. So you, within, um, if you want to sell stuff directly on site, you can do it with Stripe, Braintree, Authorized Net. Um, and then if you come down here offline, you've got ClickBank, Coinbase, and then you've got PayPal. Now, I do have PayPal checked. I'm not going to bring this down because I've got some you know, secret information down there. But again, it's all documented in Member Mouse's support and all of that stuff. So... It's a very robust system. It's very involved. There are lots and lots of things. They've got fantastic support. But on the downside, I would say the only negative, and it's only a negative for people like me, is that you do need to have a little bit of tech savvy, I think, to be able to use this or have the budget to be able to hire somebody to do that. I hired a guy on Upwork and now I've got a guy that I pay privately to continually help me with a lot of my tech stuff. So that is Member Mouse. I do like it, $79 a month. It's definitely worth it if you're tech savvy. And uh, if you are, a lot of the stuff that I've spoken about is probably, probably quite obvious to you. But anyway, hopefully you've seen a little bit of an insight of how it works. And if you'd like something easier, then a wishlist member is definitely good. But for looking at the membership, looking for how the members act within your site and their activity, that's something that Member Mouse really stands out with. Cheers, thanks for your time. Please give me a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, Ask any questions you've got below and I'll see you soon.